All right. Good morning, everybody. All right, I'm gonna take you for a walk to the beach this morning. And we're here. <laughs> I thought Warra Station was close to the beach. This is incredible. Look at that beautiful water, the sunrise coming up over there. And there's the caravan. Unreal. Winder a bandy point. Okay, jump in. It's trickling in. Well, good morning there. <laughs> Where are we going today, girls? Winder a bandy point. Winder a bandy point, yeah. And we've just aired down. You girls have had breakfast. It's yeah. a bit of a rough road getting in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Excited? Yeah. All right, I it. never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement, and I'm reading it slow so I can understand it fully. Appreciate my standing go out of this world and right on time. I'm oh, never in my life have I seen the sky. Okay, so we are on the uh, Ningaloo Road on the way to Windrabandy Point. We've driven about 10 kilometers of the road and I reckon I'm averaging 25, 30 kilometers an hour. Um, it's like it's been talked up as being really, really rough and I agree, it's corrugated, but um, it's, yeah, it's not as rough as I thought it was going to be in saying that we're only, yeah, about a fifth of the way there to Winder Bandy at the moment, so it's probably going to get rougher than this. But yeah, tyres are down to 22, um, and yeah, we're just taking it easy. And uh, there's not a lot to see. <laughs> yep, yeah, there's not a lot to see at all. Um, but you know, as long as we get there safely, I think we'll be fine.
Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> um, we are bogged. Max tracks? I may need to. Um, I'll just dig it out a little bit. Yeah, dig it out a little bit and then try and reverse up. Okay. <laughs> Speed continued. <laughs> wow. Kane wanted bloopers. Here's our bloopers. <laughs> this is what you do <laughs> when you need to get the best spots. You need to do the hard yards, right? Oh, what are you going down to? Six star, I'm going 18. Yeah. And then if that doesn't work, we'll go 16 in max tracks. We'll get yeah. there, she'll be right. She'll be right, mate, won't she? She'll be apples. While Ryan's lowering the tire pressures to get us out of our bog, I'll give you a quick tour of our home for the next five nights. Look at that. Oh my god. Does it get any better? Oh. Ba bow. Yes. that much? Yes, we, we moved we about that much? three meters. We can Yay! Do it again, <laughs> just lined with thousands and thousands of these red belt uh, jellyfish and they sting apparently you couldn't put your feet in the water where there's still there's still a couple of them bobbing about you probably won't be able to see it on the GoPro bobbing about in the water but you know it hasn't stopped the swimming and things like that but um yeah apparently it happens every year you know just hundreds and thousands of these uh, jellyfish come and die in at the bays along uh, the west coast and, and Exmouth and stuff like that. However, this year I don't, for whatever reason, they're just a lot more prolific than any other year. So uh, maybe it's something to do with the warming of the ocean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty lucky to have missed that because it would have been an interesting trip if we, uh, if we had to put up with those guys. <laughs> anyway, keep moving.
mean, it's got to wait. It's yeah. got to have, yeah, time fixes it. Nothing. Just hurting my tongue. Mm. I do remember that. It was hurting my tongue. Yeah. I'm going to have five pineapple. I don't know. Restful, which is air. I bad view from here. <laughs> Happy hour at Windorabandi Point. You know, I was just thinking about um, how our camping's changed and we were just chatting. This is like the ultimate campsite for me. It's got everything. It's got nothing and everything, if that makes any sense at all. Um, you know, the campsites are spaced out enough that you know you can't hear your neighbours. You can spread out, you can relax, you can be yourself and all that sort of stuff. The kids can noise as they can and doesn't worry anybody else and, and believe you me they make a lot of noise <laughs> especially charlotte mm -hmm. that's all right um but you know i remember when we got our first van it was the jaco dove um was our first van which was just a 1982 j dove fridge work which was really good um and you know we only stayed in caravan parks and we decided to buy a jaco eagle which was our first brand new one and when we get it we optioned it up didn't we we were like ah oh, we don't need hot water we'll never use hot water oh shower who would have a shower at a caravan the amenities. exactly <laughs> right we only stay in caravan parks <laughs> how things have changed now whilst i you know i don't nothing nothing against people who love going to the you know those huge big fours and things like that um for holidays for the they kids are great. They're fun. oh yeah especially if you've got kids like they you know there's so much to entertain the kids and stuff like yeah. that but this. Uh, oh, for me, I think this is the, the style of camping that yeah I prefer. Me too. And it's great, like with the kids, you know, they get they get away from technology and their imaginative play is just so amazing. It develops so so swiftly and so strongly. You know, they they had the shells they collected today. They're making all these amazing games and worlds and and stories with these shells and stuff like that. And they were happy as Larry. And that's what it's about too, you know, about developing that part of the brain, that creative part of the brain, which I think needs that stimulus away from technology, technology. screens. Definitely. And it's it's good for you and me too. Like we don't have reception here, so we're not reaching for our phones all the time. And, you know, it, it's, it's great, you know. And we can sit here, like we sat here for ages today, just thinking about how good the scenery is here. You know, the range is to our right. Sunset at the moment over here. It's just, just amazing. Yeah. We've said that a lot. How beautiful is this yeah, place? How good is this place? <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I think you know we're, we're eight weeks into our trip now, so we. You know, we're, we're in nine. Full trip. Nine. We're nine weeks. Nine weeks. Or are we in our ninth week? Ninth week. Ninth week. Yeah. So at the end of this week, we'll be nine weeks. Um, which is the same time frame of our last trip. Yeah. So after this week, yeah. we'll have been on our follow. longest trip ever, which is uh, pretty good. Cool. We're damn lucky. Aren't we? So lucky. So lucky. Yeah. Got to remember that. Yeah. Gratitude, empathy, mindfulness. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this. Cheers. Do you want to do the honours? 
Well, hello there. <laughs> so we're here at, where are we? South? South Lafroy. South Lafroy, that's right. Um, we were going to camp here actually, but we ended up at Winder Bandy, um, which we think we've made the right decision because Winder Bandy is a better uh, looking place to camp in our opinion. Nothing against this place, this is awesome. But this place does have better snorkeling. So between sites 1 and 12, which are the ones behind me here, um, what you do is you come in and you head out here at site 1 and there's a drift loop, so it's, it's actually quite a strong current. Head out and just let the drift take you all the way down here, site 12. Walk out near the bay over there. Walk back up and repeat. So you don't even need to swim, you just you just drift all the way along. And you can see a you know, whole array of different coral and fish and some, we saw some starfish. And we saw a dolphin out there, but I didn't quite get, get, get the snorkel on in time to go out and, and see him properly. But um, yeah, um, in terms of snorkeling, South Lafroy is much better than Winder Abandy, but Winder Abandy has a better sort of view from your campsite and the campsites are spaced, you know, a lot further apart. So, I mean, it, both have their pros and cons, but we're happy with our choice of Winder Abandy. Plus, it's only a 10 minute drive between each. So, yeah. Uh, oh. oh, how's this? Hang on, I haven't opened my beer yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. How good's this? Cheers. Yay. Yeah. Got a fire. Can we have a drink. Got a drink. Sun's going down. Where's it gonna? Well. After a relaxing, mesmerising and enjoyable five nights at Windurabandi, we packed up and headed north. The pack up was much less adventurous than the setup. The road north was corrugated, but nothing like the Ningaloo Road into Windurabandi. We thought about the great times that we had there. Dolphins greeting us in the morning, right outside the caravan, long walks on the beach and the most epic sunsets imaginable. Catching fish was great, <laughs> even if a few bigger ones did get away. Oh no! Ah oh, well, we did manage a couple of decent sized trevally and they were delicious. We made it to the Yardi Creek crossing without any issues as it was dry at the time. We were absolutely stoked at how our setup performed during our off-road adventures. Thanks for watching everyone. The next leg of our journey will take us to Exmouth and Cape Range National Park and we can't wait. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Yeah. Did you Super get a bit easy. scared of the drone there, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Dive on me. Rude.